Hey, what's going on guys? It's God's Boss here. Welcome to today's YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, guys, I'm telling you guys about an Elden Ring rune glitch. If you guys would like to know more, simply just make sure you guys go ahead, drop a sub, smash that subscribe button if you guys would like to know more. And we will be talking about this in today's YouTube video, so stay tuned. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be telling you guys how you guys can get more runes in Elden Ring. Very easy, very simple, and you don't even have to move a single inch. 12,000 runes every single 1 to 10 seconds. So no matter what, that's around a minimum of like 50,000, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to be completely sure on that. 50,000 runes per minute or 62,000 runes per minute. 50, I think it's 60,000 to 72,000 runes per minute if you guys would like that. So I'm going to tell you guys how to do that inside of Elden Ring. So anyways, guys, if you guys need to go ahead and do this, you simply need to rest at three Lost Grace sites around the map. So you have to, around Limgrave, sorry. So last, last, rest at three Lost Grace, uh, Grace sites, then go ahead and get your horse. And you can also be able to go ahead and level up inside of Elden Ring. Leveling up inside of Elden Ring makes you fight bosses, makes you fight bosses better, and makes you have a more chance of winning against bosses instead of just being a normal level walking around and trying to eliminate people you can actually get higher level and then go ahead and we use your runes for that and also use your attributes to go ahead and upgrade it so for example if you guys want more strength in a fight you're going to need runes for that if you guys want more health in a fight you guys are going to need runes for that simple and very easy but i'm in this video today guys i'm going to tell you guys exactly how you guys can go ahead and get the maximum amount of runes or get an absolute load of them so you guys can go ahead and upgrade your character. This is for early game and middle game players, so listen up. So rest at three Lost Grace sites, and after you're going to do that, you're going to go out of Limgrave, and then you're going to go ahead and rest at a Lost Grace site there. After you guys go ahead and rest at a Lost Grace site out of Limgrave, M Melina or Melina is going to come up to you and ask you if you guys would like to go to a place. Obviously, accept the invite. After that, you guys are going to go ahead and socialize with almost every single NPC there so you guys can unlock all the storylines and therefore get a larger map. After you guys end up doing that, you guys are going to go ahead, you guys are going to go ahead and teleport to something or not teleport or go to something called the Rose Church. When you go to the Rose Church, behind it or make sure you just go around the whole Rose Church, after you do that, the outskirts of it, after you do that, you will usually run into an NPC. After you run into the NPC, speak to him and say you would like to get teleported to the training grounds or the I think it's called the watch watchers grounds. I think that's what it's called. After you do that, after you do that, the trainer or the NPC will take away a, a lot of your health, most of your health. After that happens, he will take away most of your health. Then he will give you armor. And once he gives you armor, you will be you will go to the place if you accept the if you accepted the invite. When you accepted the invite, there will be a boss. That boss will later then be a huge part of this, and that's the boss that will be giving you the 12,000 runes. Instead of going ahead and, and fighting the boss and getting the 12,000 runes for the one time, what you guys need to do is you guys need to go around and walk around, then after that, you guys need to stay on the ledge. After you guys go ahead and stay on the ledge, the boss should be able to run up to you, and then it will fall off the cliff, leading to... leading to death and then after that you'll be getting 12,000 runes every single time the boss respawns and goes back off that cliff since so the boss will seem like it wants to chase you but again there's a huge cliff in front of you so it can't anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching this video simply make sure you guys go ahead drop a sub smash that like button if you guys would like more and guys i will see you guys inside of the next youtube video again thank you guys so much for watching you guys are the best for staying tuned and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Again, you guys can just watch a little clip of my horse just running around if you guys would like to. Peace.